Today on the show, we're checking with Adam on the social, but first, we've got some bouldering news from Killian Fishuber. Killian had a massively successful competition climbing career, but he retired last year to focus on outdoor climbing. The decision seems to be paying off because he's now repeated two 8C boulder problems already this month. Dave Graham's from Dirt Grows the Flowers and Dai Koyamada's Insanity of Grandeur, both of which are in Chironico, Switzerland. His wife, two-time bouldering world champion Anna Stoor, has been with him in Chironico and she hasn't had a bad trip either, making the first female ascent of Bern Zangle's Bugalaga 8B. It's not her first 8B by any means and at 27 it is unlikely to be her last. Next we're off to see Adam in his bat cave. Thanks Charlie. This week Jan Hoyer indulged in some light reading. And Nali Hukatival made the most of some primo conditions in font. The biggest thing on the internet this week, however, was cats. Or, more accurately, this cat. After the picture appeared on Reddit, the comments were soon filled with people concerned for the cat's welfare. This is so stupid. That guy is a selfish That's f***ed up. Poor cat. And if he falls the wrong way, Kitty is crushed. Talk immediately turned to professional climber Dean Potter, who's caused controversy in recent years after taking his dog with him on numerous activities, including base jumping... And I love it! ...and rock climbing. <coughs> Some people are clearly concerned about this, suggesting that... It needlessly endangers an animal in an activity over which it has no choice. Kind of like when people walk their dogs on busy city streets or drive them in cars. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the argument, there are those who would suggest that while the animals have no choice in the activity, they clearly enjoy being outside with their owners. Kind of like when your parents take you to see a historical monument when you're a kid. <laughs> At the end of the day, if these people claim to love their pets like they were their own children, then the acid test is to ask ourselves how we'd feel if it was a baby strapped to his back rather than a dog. <laughs> Last up is the Alex Puccio Award, and this week's runner-up is Mark Peters with this. Nailed it. However, the winner this week is Alex Puccio, who dominated the heart and soul comp at the Denver Bouldering Club. All my people's got to stay on the positive five. Thanks to Wes Walker for the footage and power to the pooch. Remember to hashtag your training photos and videos, Pooch Your Power, for your chance to be featured on the show and to win an Epic TV t shirt. We'll see you next week on the social. <laughs> Final thing before we go, three of our lucky winners of a free copy of Valley Uprising have yet to get in touch, so give us an email. Tom Keeley, Irene Wersch and Eddie Russell. If I mispronounced your name, I'm sorry, but just give us an email anyway. You can get in touch via the Facebook page and we'll send you the link for your free copy. For everyone else, if you want to watch the Sender Films blockbuster, go to vimeo.com, search for Valley Uprising and follow the links. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>